right, so you're in Bruges, you're walking around, you're seeing the sights, you know, chick, 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 chick. but then all of a sudden, your, your tummy, it starts a rumbling, and you're like, oh no, I forgot to eat. What, what am I going to do? Don't worry. Don't panic. Bruges has plenty of places to eat. Bruges has several restaurants with perfect views of the Belfry in the Market Square. You can easily go to any of these places, eat the stereotypical Belgian meal of mussels, and have a lovely time. But here's the thing. These restaurants all seem to charge the same price for their fixed price menus. I don't know about you, but if five restaurants next to each other all charge the same price, something doesn't feel right. I take it as meaning all of the owners agreed to charge that inflated price, favored nation style, so they would each have a fighting chance at ripping off unassuming tourists fresh off the tour bus. If you want an authentic, affordable eating option, try Pa Partol. Their prices are comparable to American chain restaurants found in malls, but their food here is much better than jalapeno poppers and bottomless fountain drinks. I had the... Oh boy. The Gensa Vatazol Naturalard Appelen, or as I like to call it, chicken and potatoes. It was well prepared with subtle seasonings, and since it was the dish of the day, it was under 8 euros, a fraction of the cost of one of those market square meals. Just please be respectful when you're eating here, and don't tell your tour guides about it. I don't think the Pa Parto patrons are used to eating with busloads of rowdy tourists, and I think they want to keep it that way. Of course, if you really want to save some money and like eating outdoors, you can make yourself a fantastic picnic from the food found at Bruges' Golden Triangle, right next to Astrid Park. They call it the Golden Triangle because this intersection contains the best bakery, butcher, and grocer in Bruges. Don't believe me? Then look at this sandwich. Doesn't that make your mouth water? And look at this. Same sandwich, but now it's with an orange. That was a tasty orange. But that meat... Ugh. I still think about that meat. Well, that's it for now. So, until next time, keep traveling.